So the way I want to structure this talk is to uh, think about the growing uh, bones and joints of kids as building blocks. And I think this is a great analogy uh, when we think about kids. If you think about uh, the skeletal system in kids as building blocks, they will help you identify lesions. So how do we do that? Well, we think about the basic units of a long bone. Uh, think about the epiphysis, the physis, the metaphysis, and the diaphysis. If you break it down into these building blocks, you can methodically go through the skeletal system and pick apart and form a relatively rational differential for uh, the lesion you might be looking at. So let's start with the epiphysis. Here is a fairly uh, uh, comprehensive differential for epiphyseal lesions in children. Leg calf perthes disease, slip capital femoral epiphysis, osteochondrosis, avascular necrosis, and certain tumors. And we're going to go through each one of these. Let's start with leg calf perthes disease, LCP or perthes. This is idiopathic avascular necrosis that occurs in young children. Uh, look for uh, flattening and sclerosis of the epiphysis. Uh, usually it's, uh, uh, it's uh, on one side. And the whole goal of treating these children is to avoid the long-term consequences of avascular necrosis, which is severe joint degeneration, uh, immobility, and disability. Let's look at a case. Here's something slightly different. Both sides of the um, uh, femoral heads are affected here. We have a little bit of flattening, a uh, little bit of irregularity of both epiphyses of the femoral heads. What is this? Well, this uh, it often turns out to be Myers dysplasia, a diagnosis of exclusion. It often presents uh, uh, in young kids around two to three years of age. They're usually asymptomatic and they happen to be getting a plain film for something else. It can run in families. And it's important to uh, distinguish uh, from Perthes disease because usually um, they do quite well with um, just observation. Could be that this is a variation in development. Usually they're followed by a pediatric orthopedist just to make sure. Let's talk a little bit now about a SCIFI, slip capital femoral epiphysis. Here is a child with slip capital femoral epiphysis, and I want to ask you, do you see the lesion? Which side is affected? Here is where radiologists can play a valuable role in identifying this lesion early on. This lesion is subtle, and it's on your uh, right-hand side or the child's left. The first thing you want to look for is this subtle widening and lucency of the physis. This is a pre-slip. And uh, these patients often present with uh, thigh or knee pain. They have uh, common risk factors, obesity, uh, often male, often African-American. They um, also tend to occur in patients with endocrinopathies. The goal here is to identify this lesion early, like this early lesion, and fix it before uh, further uh, damage occurs. One uh, way to identify this lesion uh, is with the Klein's line. Uh, you draw a line along the lateral aspect of the uh, femoral neck, and uh, you see on the normal side, there's some of the epiphysis that's lateral to the line, but on the affected side, because of that uh, small amount of slip, um, there's not as much of the um, epiphysis that's outside this line. Now, it's really, even though it's in the epiphyseal part of this talk, it's really a lesion of the physis. It's a, um, a deficiency of the physis that allows the epiphysis to slip off of it. And the uh, importance of this uh, early identification is that you want to get them off the leg. You want to get them off weight-bearing immediately. Uh, you don't send them home. You don't allow them to, even if they've got a chronic uh, um, history of uh, pain, um, they're, um, it's important to get them off right away before it goes on to further uh, damage. And here on the frog leg lateral, you can uh, more further appreciate the uh, slip here where the uh, epiphysis rotates medially. Uh, it also demonstrates how this is a fracture of the physis. Let's look at another case. 
This is also a case which is a subtle lesion, uh, but it's a common lesion, and it's one that uh, you want to train your eye to identify uh, in children. Usually these uh, children uh, come with a history of chronic uh, elbow pain. Uh, they're often pitchers, and if you look closely, you can see that there's a, a lucent and sclerotic lesion at the capitella. So what is this? Well, of course, this is osteochondritis desiccans, another common pediatric lesion, uh, more clearly identified on this fluid-sensitive coronal MR image. 